we don't just write about our experience, we write about our friends' experiences, family experiences as well. So this is uh, the best I can do with a depiction of a uh, family member of mine. <laughs> Motherless, and by her account, fatherless. For her father is no one whom she cares to regard. For his very presence caused the tainting of her skin. He was a lonesome man when he was sober. She preferred it if he stayed drunk forever. Who cares about a little cirrhosis of the you know when you're already an alcoholic, an abuser, and a cheat? Taboos don't come easy. That certainly didn't stop her from trying. Brag, no one will have my daughters before me, professing that he would have all of their virginities, thereby setting the stage to ruin their lives with his trifling crime. Fortunately for her, that never came to be. He never did touch her untouched body. Whether his methods were systematic, subsequent or circumstance, regardless, she thanked God that never came to be. Unfortunately, all were not as lucky as she. He raped all the others simultaneously. And at night she can hear their cries. Cries from behind bedroom doors that should have never been closed. Cries because they knew there would be no interruption because he had ran their mom off the night before. Cries as horrid as a wailing baby elephant bellowing out to his mother from whom he was inadvertently separated. Cries not only because of the violation but whom the violator. All they could do was cry their tears because he had bought their silence with fears. You know if you ever tell anyone, I'm gonna kill you, right? Then he laid with her naked frame. Even at her adolescent age, she knew this was wrong. And the elasticity in her skin was almost entirely free from the wounds of the playground and the wounds when you're climbing trees and the marks you get when you're swinging on a swing so high in the sky's breeze and everything is perfect up there in the air but you still jump willingly ready to receive any wounds the impact from the fall may cause unnecessary scars the force required to go inside of her pushed her light body upwards, hitting her head on the headboard, causing unnecessary scars. But it didn't compare to the emotional scars that were left there. Her body became of age where she began to produce eggs, and one became fertilized and grew inside of her, just as she had grown inside of her mother his wife. Her pregnancy she did cover in head. The boy down the street got the charge of daddy at 14, even though he swore he had never touched her body before. You can't make a baby by liking someone, can you? Always she thought she was dad's favorite. She always got things they never got. But on this particular day, her misconduct got her something they always got, a beard. She was furious. Of all his inappropriate acts, the role of father you choose to keep most intact is that of chastiser? So you lay with me like I'm your significant other while you still lay with my mother. And I don't know if to call this baby my son or my brother. And you choose to chastise me like I'm a little girl, as I was when you first raped me? His threats were no longer effective. She couldn't imagine anything worse. 
And so she told him. And she told him. She told her best friend. But it was so hard for her to believe. She told her paternal grandmother. But she wouldn't conceive. But she would not be discouraged. And so she told. And she told. And she told again. She told until someone finally listened. And now this bastard will be spending the next 12 years of his life in the state pen. Because she decided that she would not be re-victimized. Thank you. There's something about this joint right here.